data type conversion functions. Here is an example. To chart the number 1 million to a string representation which is common delimited. We end up with the number 1 million, common delimited in thousands. Here are all the data type conversion functions used in Oracle. The only ones we're interested in at this point in time are to char, to club, to date and to number. To char converts to characters from numbers or dates. To date converts from a character to a date. To number converts a string to a number. To club actually converts a text string into a text binary object. Before I go into some examples, let's just go through all the data type conversion functions we want to deal with, the red ones. To char converts an expression, applies a format, and returns a string. Here are some of the number formatting specifications that can be used. Comma delimited, dollars, decimal points, zeros in front, straight numbers, etc., etc. Here are some of the date formatting specifiers. To number, to number simply takes an expression and converts it to a number. To date, again an expression converted to a date applying a specific format. To club simply takes a string and puts it into a binary text object. Now let's go and look at some examples. The first two examples. This number has a thousands common delimited format applied to it. This date has this format applied to it. So the date changes from this to this, day slash month slash year. The next set of examples. This number has this format applied, round to two decimals. The three in this number is rounded to two decimals. Since it's below five, it's rounded down. The result is 102.12. This number has this format applied. No decimals. That becomes zero. This zero replaces the empty value with a zero. So a zero appears. In this example, we're taking 0 0.1 again, and we're applying two decimal places, so the result is 0 0.10. In this example, the zero at the end of the number before the decimals has been replaced with a nine. The result is that this zero disappears. So we have 0 0.10 instead of 0 0.10. The last example is filling from the left with zeros. So we chop off, we have no decimals, we have 0 0.1 becoming zero, and we're filling from the left with zeros up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 characters, comma, delimited. This is the result we get. My next set of examples. This character here places a leading dollar sign into the number. Here we have another leading dollar sign with a zero value, so we have dollar zero. The same applies to the point one value since we've actually rounded it. Here are some date examples. Year converts the year and outputs 2003. Day gives me the day, Tuesday. Month gives me January. DD gives me the 21st day in the month. And YYYY gives me 2003. Using them all together, day, month, DD, YY gives me Tuesday, January 21, 2003. In this case, we've actually added the time on as a 24-hour clock. So we have Tuesday, January 21, 2003, 0900 hours, 45 minutes, and 22 seconds. In this example, we use the to date function in a WHERE clause. The date has an internal format, so what we're doing is we're putting in a date, we're interpreting the format of the date for a date data type, and then the show date is assessed as being less than the to date conversion of the string 0101-2003. In other words, what we're looking for are show records where the show date is anywhere before the 1st of January 2003 or up to and including the 31st of December 2003. So let's run this query, and as you see, we have lots of show dates in 2002. 
Now let's check the next query where we do it the other way around. All we're doing now to prove a point is we're going to run the same query with the WHERE clause being greater than or equal to the 1st of January. And we have a number of records of shows that are dated as being in the year 2003.